you know, everybody's waiting for us to retaliate to the promo that Pain and Pleasure put up the other day. You know, I'm, I'm not going to retaliate playing no games or, you know, laughing. I'm done with the fucking bullshit promos. You know, Jack, I never liked you from the moment I saw you in that tight gray outfit at the other promotion. I never liked you. And then Pain, you know, the first minute I saw you, you just rubbed me the wrong way. The problem is, is that you got two guys that should have stuck to jobbing on pre-shows instead of trying to come here and wrestle with the big boys. You two are worthless. You can't wrestle. I mean, my God, pain. You, did you see those two try and give that team a heart attack? Yeah, and then like happy pain. fucking feet there can't even stand still long enough to do anything. You two are not ready for the big time. And how you bullshit at Dallas Parker into making him believe that you're ready to play with the big boys. And Let me tell you something, you're gonna get fucked. The sign of type of match, you know, like Dallas Parker did with you guys just coming back. A street fight match with us? You better go check the bios on both of us. You see, I've been in a ring with big man, baby haystacks, big daddy, Millions. 500 pounds. Pain, I'm not scared of you. As a matter of fact, I beat baby haystacks for a hardcore title. You sure did. And I also be, I also beat him once in a, I think it was a like a chain tables match with lumberjacks at Newburgh. But I tell you. He's a tough opponent. I also wrestled him in a cage where he kicked my ass. Oh, yeah. But like I said, Payne, I'm not worried about ass kicking. I'm not afraid of you. Let me tell you something. You boys, you want to sit here, you want to come into our playground, our hardcore match. Let me tell you something. We're talking about baby haystacks. Well, let me tell you something about Bob. While him and I feuded, we are not the best of fucking friends. Let me tell you something. Bob would have ate you two up and shit you out for breakfast. Believe that. You know, I mean, it's like, and, and Jack Steele, you know, I was just thinking the other night, this street fight match, I could bring a pair of scissors to the ring and cut that blind ponytail right off your ass if I want to. You know, I, I mean, I am not playing no more games with these two. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not laughing right now, pain and pleasure. They don't call us team to the extreme for nothing. We have been in these type of matches before. We're not running scared. You better, you better think twice before you come out there because it's like this. You see, you're all fired up and you're gun ho about this match. You see, we're not getting all stressed out about it because we know what we can do and what we're capable of. You can ask Steve Van Beckham. You can ask Draven Stryker. You can ask... Who else could they ask uh, that that had been in the ring with us? Pretty much everybody. Yeah, pretty much everybody. D-Rock, all of them. You know, county fair, you ask them, and they'll tell you what we're capable of. But let me tell you something, Payne. I see you still have the bandage wrapped around your arm. I'm going to take that bandage off, and I'm going to rip your arm right off of your body. It's that simple. It's that simple. July 4th, you have challenged us. To a Hartford street fight. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, we got to use those pretty boys' little names, the Stars and st Stripes street fight, because all you stupid fuckers want to do is cater to these worthless fans. Exactly. We don't worry about the fans. We don't worry about Dallas Parker. We don't worry about Crazy Corman. We don't worry about Draven Stryker. We sure as hell don't worry about you. And we don't worry about all these wrestling news reporters, mm -hmm. you know. It's, Especially like WFSO. WFSO, Milwaukee Wrestling, they all kiss our you know, ass. Because um, cause here's the thing about now here's the thing about WFSO and Milwaukee Wrestling. They're they're always going to put us down. They're always going to say shit like, oh, you know, we you know we probably get an interview with them, but if we did that, we'd probably just be using WFSO to push ourselves. But, but you know that that that's that Hazel and and AJ. You know, oh, Wrestler of the Week, James Payne. Wrestler of the Week, James Payne. Tag Team of the Week, Pain and Pleasure. Well, we know that they're favorites of yours, mm -hmm. and we're not on top of your list. We know that. Yeah. But, you know, I, I asked them for an interview, and I get a message back, yeah, we can have an interview. But as I keep calling, 
they won't pick up the phone, they won't answer any of my emails or, or anything like that. You know what, WFSO? <laughs> You're going to have us for an interview real soon. So you better just pick up your phone or you better message us back, else we're just going to come over there and do one anyway. You ain't going to like that. Not mm -hmm. at all. And I, I got another thing. Pain and pleasure. What was the deal with you cutting your promo with two two eggs as props, one black, one white, but you're you're at a playground with a bunch of little kids. Throws up a damn red flag in my book. Mm -hmm. I knew you two were kind of funny, but uh, that was a little strange to me. There, there's a line, a fine line between funny and illegal. But again, what this boils down to is, you know what? We've got the entire park to kick the shit out of you two ass clowns, as you like to call us, and the crowd's so light. We got the whole park to kick your ass from one end to the other. You know what? There's going to be a parade going on. With Maybe I'll just shove your fucking head straight up a horse's ass. And maybe you might shit on it. Tell you this right now. No more fucking around. No more tweet wars. No more fucking promos. None of that bullshit. All it's going to be, I'll tell you what. Here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want us to get in the ring Monday on the 4th of July. I want you to, to come up. Fuck lockups. Fuck technical wrestling. Fuck all that shit. You come in the goddamn ring. I'm going to lay you out with my fucking fist. And I'm going to take you around that park. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you so goddamn bad that you be praying for each stroke just so you can end the goddamn match. You know, and another thing, you know, they talk about, oh, you know, tasers or whatever. I'm going to tell you something. This time, I'm leaving the taser at home because I'm going to kick your ass, James Payne. You're going to feel some pain, all right, boy. And Jack Steele, I'm just going to shove my boot straight up your ass. All you need to know is that July 4th, early in the morning, we're leaving 2Dville. We're headed straight to Hartford, to Veterans Park. And at 4 o'clock when that bell rings, you better not have your faces there. Because if you do, that is the last place you are ever going to fucking remember. So bring all your internet rats or whoever that, that's that been tweeting with you, bring them all there so they can watch you get the shit kicked out of you. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. That's all I got too, you know, because like I said, no more playing around and it's time that uh, we show these people what we're all about.